Hello. Hello. In this video, we are going to show you the top five must-haves or must-brings that we think we need in our camper van. Um, but when we started to create the top five, we realised we had a completely different, totally different list. So we decided to do a challenge of my top five versus Caroline's top five. Boys versus girls, I'm confident I'm going to win. I'm confident the things that I suggest that you need for a trip away in your camper van slash motorhome slash leisure vehicle are better than yours. No chance. I mean, I might agree with some of yours, but mine will win. Mine will be better. Okay, let's see who is going to win. So number five on my list is very simple. Thing you must have every time you go to camper van is a torch. Actually, I've got two here. We keep this one in the van permanently. It's a head torch, useful for walking Molly. And this torch is my favorite torch in the world. Um, it's an Olight M1X Striker, but it's really, really powerful. It's got loads of cool features. It's rechargeable. I've used it all over the world, underground bunkers in France, all sorts of the place. So this is critical because you need a good torch if you need to go outside or check something in a cupboard or use loads of little nooks and crannies in a camper van. So for me, number five on my list must have is a decent torch or two. Okay, number four on my list of must have gadgets for the camper van is very important if you want to drive away in a hurry or you want to generally keep your van nice and dry. Is a car chair. Window back. I'll turn that off. So the Karcher window vac, basically, I use to de-mist the windscreen. All the windows in the back are double glazed, so they don't have any condensation on them, but the windscreen, quite often, unless you've got a windscreen cover, will get condensation on the inside. This is perfect for getting rid of it. I learned this from a tip in the uh, Auto Trail Owners Club Facebook group. Really, really useful. Lives in the van permanently. Simple to charge. Absolutely great at getting rid of the water on your windscreen. Number three on my list is uh, a speaker. Actually, a really cool Sony Bluetooth smart speaker. You can connect this to your phone. You can connect it to actually to the TV in the van. It's got a socket for a 3.5 mil jack in the back. Um, it charges off USB. The battery lasts forever. It lasts for like 24 hours. And it's got really, really good sound quality, as you can see, or hear. And it's portable. You can carry it around. And it's also got some cool flashing light features, so you can set it for ambient light and for mode, mood in the, in the van. It's really cool. Put it anywhere you want. Take it outside with you. It's waterproof as well, so you can take it to the beach if you're out for the day. It's one of the really, really great devices to have in the van, because you can have music wherever you want. You can move it around with you. It's not fixed. And it say, 24 hours battery life. It lasts forever. Absolutely fantastic. Number two on my list, almost at number one, is a GPS. To be precise, a Garmin GPS. This has Ordnance Survey mapping built in. For anyone who's watched our channel, will probably understand that we love to go out exploring and walking, hiking, cycling, etc. This is brilliant companion. Again, it has batteries that you can take out, not rechargeable, so you can put normal batteries in or rechargeable batteries, which is really useful. Um, and you can you can run this again. It lasts for like 24 hours with GPS on. Really useful if you want to plot a route, if you want to go up a mountain or go hiking or anything. I've used this again all over the, all over Europe. Um, Scaffell Pike in October, it's perfect. It's got a map, it tracks where you are, it lets you go anywhere you want. Quite often when we're away in the van, what I'll do is I'll, I'll see where we are, see what paths and what public foot paths are around it and plot a route, and then use this to get around and, and find adventures. Absolutely fantastic bit of kit, especially if you like going walking. Okay, so number one on my list is a uh, very useful if you're bringing children with you or if you've got any big children is a games console. But to be precise, this is a Super Nintendo classic. It's absolutely tiny, fits in the palm of your hand, powered from USB or 12 or normal 230 volt socket, connects by HDMI to your telly and it comes complete with two controllers. It's got pre-built in games. So it's got all the classic Nintendo games like Super Mario Kart, etc. And it's tiny, it lightly fits in a locker. Really good if you're waiting for your wife to get ready, or if you have a rainy day and you want something different to do. It's one of the best things ever. It lives in the camper van um, permanently, and it's got all games built into it. So you can play, say, Mario Kart, Super Mario World, um, Street Fighter 2, all the classic new games from Nintendo. So that's my top five. So 
So, starting with my top five, at number five we have a rather essential item, not just for camper vanning, but just generally in life, and that is dry shampoo. Excellent accessory for girls with lots of hair. Um, if you don't want to wash it, just a quick spray of dry shampoo uh, makes all the difference. This currently is girls only hair care dry shampoo party night. I think I bought it from Tesco, it's actually really good, I'm dead impressed with this one. Um, but a great thing to have in the cabinet. So number four, keeping on the hair care theme, um, not a hair dryer as you might have been expecting, um, but straighteners. Now clearly I do like straight hair and Ian did say that we wouldn't be able to take them because of the power and they might trip at the site. So I did some research and actually they're these um, normal household Nikki Clark salon straighteners. Um, 40 watt so really low power drain um so there we go you can go have camper vanning and have good hair no excuses and number three everyday essentials um not putting them on the table because it's bad luck flip-flops can't beat a decent pair of flip-flops always on your feet in the camper van just quick in and out in the shower if it's wet you can leave them at the door uh yeah just what what not to like a decent pair of flip-flops probably recommend sli sliders rather than toe posts but that just means you can buy another pair so number two this one actually isn't for me but kind of is it is well a pooch onesie so this one is for molly it's basically like a microfiber material like a giant towel with a big zip all the way down and a head hole so basically how it works is molly goes in the bag we zip her in her head sticks out here we'll show a photo or a video of it in use um you can dry her in it we've got quite a big one for molly i think maybe a size too big uh, but it does mean that she can lie down and move about in it quite comfortably and then she dries 20 30 minutes later she's uh, lovely and dry nice and clean and she's allowed to walk through the rest of the van we normally keep it at the door so if it's wet the minute she comes in she goes in the bag and yeah it's great washes up nicely dries really quick so really recommend it if you've got a dog and you want to keep your van clean and finally my number one item um probably something that you may all be familiar with a ridge monkey now i must confess I have never actually used this which I think is why it's my number one item because I never have to do the cooking so therefore it is my number one item. I get a night off and Ian gets to do the cooking so it's a win for me. So we hope you liked our top five items, gadgets, things to bring with the camper van must-haves. I hope you like mine better. <laughs> I hope you think that mine are more, are more useful. We'll see. Please tell us. Yeah, please make please. me win. Don't let, don't let him be right. I'll never live it down. Feel free to write in the comments below which you prefer boys or girls and let us know which one you prefer <laughs> so, in terms of we're so sexist. gadgets. Well, just different. Boys, might, boy have a, boys might have straighteners. You can borrow my dry shampoo if you need to. Yeah, likewise you can play my Nintendo if you want. Uh, See, but it's a preference of my, my boy stuff and your girl stuff. So please let us know what you think you like best. And uh, yeah, hopefully we'll spend ages arguing over it and then <laughs> glo gloating over the other person when when we're the winner yeah please 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 comment and let you like mine first yeah thanks very much for watching we'll Bye. see you in the next video oh by the way in the next video will be another travel video because we're filming the time this goes video out we'll, we'll video goes out on youtube we'll be on our next trip won't we'll we? be already away yes. yes creating more videos for you for future thanks for watching see you soon bye ready get in there i'll get you a biscuit in a minute there you go, you're free. Good girl, high five.